let's make this one different. Um, <clears throat> I recently started an obsession with uh, plants, propagation, succulents. I kind of like this new hobby, so I'd like to share with you all of my plants. Um, the only issue here is that I don't know the names of any of them. Maybe two. So I'm not going to tell you what they're called, but I'm going to show you my plants. Okay? So let's start with this one. Uh, I don't know, a snow, snow flower plant, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure, but ain't it beautiful? And then, okay, this one is my favorite plant of all time. And actually, I actually know the name of this one. It's called a Philodendron Prince of Orange. Weird name, I know, but isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. This one is an obvious one. It's a palm. Uh, it was getting, it was dying, having some dried ends, so I had to cut it off. But it's a huge one that I've had for two years now. So this is my little propagation little area. Let me get closer. So these are my succulents that I've retransplanted. And then these are, I actually know the name of this. This is called a string of pearls succulent. And these are all little propagating pieces of succulents. <laughs> This is also, this, is, this plant is called a rubber plant that I'm propagating the leaves and it's going to grow some roots. And this plant is <clears throat> right here. So that's one little branch that I took from my mom that it's growing very, very slowly. So I decided to propagate a few leaves to make it more fuller. And then I have this one that I just got from my grandmother's house yesterday. I think it's called a snake plant. <clears throat> a few empty pots that I need to fill up. Uh, this plant is fake, completely fake, but I love it. This is an IV. I think it's called an IV. So it's like a... A, vein, a vine that will grow up upwards. Uh, this is a coleus, I think, that I'm trying to grow into a tree. And I'm actually trying two more times here. It will grow into a nice little tree, so you have to trim the bottom of the stem so I, you know, it flourishes as a tree. This one's completely fake, and I'm going to replace it eventually with a real one. Hey, walnut. <clears throat> Little kitty door that's being held by a, a boot. Because <laughs> they don't know how to use it. They still don't understand. All right, there's this plant. This is called a cat palm, I think. Huh? A little, a little kitty palm. It was actually going through root rot recently, and so I had to trim and cut off all of the dead, rotting stems. So it's a little less full than my other one, and I'll show you my other one. This is also another IV. This is a ZZ plant. I was told these plants are the easiest to grow and maintain. They're beautiful. Look at the shine of the leaves. They're so pretty. And then I have this one. I have no idea the name of this plant. 
my cat wants some attention. So yeah, I love this plant. It's growing wonderfully. I have this one. Don't ask me the name, I have no idea. But I love it. And it's beautiful. And then I have <laughs> this one. I used to know the name of this one, but I, I don't know, I forgot, but it's growing. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? I got it from the office, actually. When I used to work at the office, I had this plant, and then when we all started to work from home, I brought it home. Well, Matt, he really wants attention. And this is my other cat palm. It's a bit more fuller, not going through root rot. <laughs> I just got this one. And this is a painting that I did. Like a 3D painting. Can't you tell I love plants? I mean, I have them in all corners of my house. These are all my plants indoors. Let's go outdoors. A little, a little windy out here, but let me show you my balcony. So this is another succulent that I'm trying to propagate. I think these are dying because they're a different color than this bunch. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know the name of the succulent, but nice, right? This plant is a monster to take care of. A really, really hard plant to uh, keep. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. To keep, uh, you know, spotless. It's really hard. There's spots everywhere, everywhere. I mean, it's growing, so at least that, but it's really hard to keep to keep pretty. So I have another palm here outside in the direct light, direct sun. This is a succulent little pot that I bought. Look at this, look at this, it's starting to grow. Isn't it cute? I don't know what it is. I know it's, a, it's part of the succulent family, but isn't it beautiful? I love this. And these are the string of pearls that I started propagating, what you saw earlier. These are dying. They were purple little flowers, and now they're dead. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh well. These are my beautiful, I don't know what they are, daisies, white, margaret, I don't know. <laughs> but they are nice white flowers. I've arranged these two pots myself, so isn't it pretty? And then I have this one, which is growing. I don't know what it's called, but it's cute, right? This is fake. It's just to uh, keep my privacy from the neighbors when I sit. So this is my balcony. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. And I have a bunch of rocks right here. Because I'm looking to looking to buy um what should we call it? Bamboo. I'm looking for bamboo because I know they resist to low light. Uh, they're good in low light and I have a few corners in my house that I want to fill with plants that are low light. That would be that would require low light, so um, I'm looking for bamboo. And I'm going to put them in a vase with rocks and water. So, anyways, these are my plants. I 
hope you like it. If this was a boring video for you, then cool. Sorry about that. I mean, it's my new obsession. <laughs> and if you liked it, then give me a thumbs up. And let me know, uh, let me know what you think. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.